I said, what you, what you, what you want, what you want? Hey, y'all, it's me, Matthew, and I'm giving you what you want. I think, maybe not, I don't know, TBD. Point being, I'm on the line today to tell you a little bit about what I've been working on. It's 2019, it's January, it's the new year. I'm super excited. I've got video going, the lighting is right. Hashtag nailing it. And I'm also focusing a lot this year on two things. One, recovering. I uh, had a rough year, 2018, hashtag, you know, lots of things. Um, but on the flip side, I think I've come to realize uh, what I care about, um, what I don't care about, um, who I love working with, who I don't love working with, um, and the things I think at the end of the day um, that are most important for me. I've identified a few of them, at least, on some level. Um, and so I'm here making it happen. And so what am I working on today? Well, before I talk about that, I want to sort of um, speak to the bigger picture for a moment. I think the biggest thing for me in 2019 is that I've found a clarity around what it is that I want to do on a larger scale and for whom I want to serve. Um, and so what does that mean? Um, well, I think uh, a couple of things. One, the importance of serving humanity is a part of that dialogue. Um, I do believe um, that if we try, if we make the effort, we can actually recognize um, the, con the interconnectivity of who we are and what we do. Um, it takes effort, um, especially because of the diversity of the planet Earth and the human beings um, that we are with all the baggage that we carry and the history, etc. Um, but I believe that at the end of the day, um, we are all human. Um, as, as, I, as they say, though cliche it may be, humanity is one. Um, that being said, I am driven in my life and in my work to harmonize. Um, I have this idea or this phrase that I call harmonizing Kokoro. Um, and what I mean by that is this idea of really bringing into cohesion the parts of us as individuals and the parts of us um, as individuals in society. And so the word Kokoro is interesting um, because it has this sort of, con or it, it's a Japanese word that basically means sort of one thing, but in Western culture, um, we would divide that one thing up into three parts or compartmentalize these things, body, mind, and spirit. Um, you know, but, but it also translates as heart, and I love that um, because it's about purpose, at least for me, it then becomes about purpose and it becomes about something deeper and, and something inside. So anyways, so all that being said, um, another component of my work um, is movement. You know, I spent 10 plus years as a professional dance artist. Um, I, that's what I studied. That I think is um, movement is a, a language that I speak um, uh, fluently and that I create in as an artist, as a choreographer. But also when I think about movement, it's not just physical movement. Um, it's the, the movement of humanity, right? And that means much more. That means um, all of the great projects that we start as human beings. It, it's all of the um, entrepreneurs and the leaders and the um, just sort of ecosystem of bodies in motion doing things. Um, ideally, <laughs> doing great things um, and working together uh, in a conscious way. Um, so, you know, so that's sort of where my mind is. Um, and so what does that look like on a very tangible, practical level, I guess, as part, probably part of your question? Um, well, it means, all, <laughs> of course, naturally, um, as an omnipreneur, um, it means a lot of different businesses, but uh, it means a lot of different businesses feeding into one bigger picture. And I think that's what I'm focused on in 2019 is actually realizing this bigger picture. Um, so that being said, have a fabulous afternoon, baby, and uh, we'll talk soon.